Welcome back to Between Two Bushes. My name is Paige and I'm with Kegel Bell. And then we have Jen here, who's our first customer. And we are going to be discussing some customer questions. So uh, who better to answer that than our first customer? So today we're gonna talk a little bit about people thinking that this is just an old, a little old lady problem. You know, it's an interesting dilemma because most people don't see problems until they start, you know, happening. So until they have leakage and things like that. So what should we tell people about this problem? Yeah, I think it's when you think of like leakage, you think of like, you know, old women wearing depends, right? Like yeah. that's, like, <laughs> that's like the main image that comes up. And I and I think that's probably was, was my image of it too yeah. until I had a baby and then I'm trying to jump rope and all of a sudden I'm peeing everywhere um, yeah. or I'm trying to run. And mm -hmm. then you start to have these like quiet conversations with maybe your friends or mom friends and then everybody's like, oh yeah, me too. Like, oh yeah, yeah. me too. Or yeah, that's been me for 20 years. And you're like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. This is a huge issue. And yeah. I think that's the thing is maybe that's the mm -hmm. image that's portrayed to us that it's little old women in Depends. Yeah. Yeah. But the reality is, is yeah. that it's the majority of women are experiencing this and women mm -hmm. with or without children have issues with leakage mm -hmm. and nobody is talking about it. And yeah. because nobody's talking about it, nobody's doing anything for it. And we're all mm -hmm. just kind of figuring out our own issues and just not talking about it, maybe not working out as much, maybe find mm -hmm. other solutions yeah. without without finding any, any other, you know, first without relying on each other to help us say, hey, what's going on with you? How can I mm -hmm. help it? Um, and do anything to fix it. Yeah, yeah, it's really interesting because most things in life you wouldn't wait until it was broken to make sure that things are functioning correctly, which is one of the things that I like to share with people who maybe ask me if I use it. And I'm like, you wouldn't wait to go to the gym until your muscles are all atrophied and you can't lift anything. You would want to make sure that you're maintaining those muscles over time. And the same thing applies for your pelvic floor muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's interesting. I think it's sort of a cultural thing that we need to change with people that are younger who just aren't aware of it, like you mm -hmm. said, and then making it available for people who are already having those problems now. So, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs>